Hello and welcome to the Saptak Archives podcast. This is a new initiative by Saptak. A panel of serious musicians have undertaken to select gems of music from the Saptak Archives collection and also from other sources. The objective here is to propagate our musical heritage and to build a vibrant community around it. We do hope that you will enjoy this podcast and please do help us to improve it by giving us your feedback. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Mandar Karanskar and I am your host for this episode of Saptak Podcast. I am a Hindustani classical vocalist. I am a student of uh, Hindustani classical music and I was fortunate to get my training under the guidance of late Pandit Vijay Sar Deshmukh. So in this episode of Saptak Podcast, we are going to look at the multifaceted musician Ustad Abdul Karim Khan. So Ustad Abdul Karim Khan is considered to be one of the founders of uh, today's Kirana Gharana and we are all aware of the illustrious lineage uh, that Kirana Gharana has. Many of us primarily know Ustad Abdul Karim Khan Sahib as a Hindustani classical khayal vocalist. But it's very interesting to know that he spent a large part of his life in the southern India near Mysore and Dharwad and Carnatic music has a deep influence on his singing. Apart from that, uh, he also sang Natya Gitas, you know, the theatre music, which was actually considered to be a lower grade of music in those days, you know, and Khyal musicians were not allowed to sing uh, Natya Gitas. So, it's very interesting to see how a musician evolved himself and his musical canvas. So let us begin first with listening to a recording of a Carnatic uh, musical piece sung by Ustad Abdul Karim Khan Sahib. Almost all of the tracks that I will be playing today are from public domain and they are available on YouTube. And the first one is a Carnatic musical piece in which uh, Ustad Abdul Karim Khan Sahib is singing Ramani Samana Mevaru, a Kannada composition in Rak Kharhar Priya. So this is a, again a Carnatic rag, very similar to rag Kafi in the Hindustani Sangeet. Come on. 
As I mentioned earlier, Ustad Abdul Karim Khan Sahib also sang quite a few Natte Kitas. So the next recording to which we listen to is uh, him singing a Marathi Natte Git, Ugitsaka Kanta. Now, uh, it's very interesting to see that this particular Natte Git is a, a composition inspired from the theatre music. But since Ustad Abdul Karim Khan Sahib had a deep influence of Carnatic music, he has added elements of Carnatic music like a sargam into this Natte Git. So, when you listen to this recording, you will notice how finely he is using the elements of sargam in his singing. Oh, my God. 
Well, uh, that's not all. Uh, along with all this repertoire, Ustad Abdul Karim Khan Saab could also sing Thumri's effortlessly. So now we will listen to a very short recording where he is singing a very nice Thumri in Rag Jhinjoti, Piya Bina Nahi Aavat Chain. I'm 
From the three recordings that we heard, we can easily make out what kind of genius Ustad Abdul Karim Khan Saab would have been. Uh, that's not it. He could also play Veena and there are far more subtle aspects of his music which we have not explored yet. So thank you for being with me in this episode. In our next episode, we will take a look at other finer nuances of Ustad Abdul Karim Khan Saab's singing. Thanks a lot. Bye.